What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the 900 Global Honey Badger Intensity. Guys, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, you can head on over to coolwick.com, use my promo code MOTIVELU10, and that'll get you 10% off your entire order. So let's get right into the tech of this intensity. So according to 900 Global's website, it's the S70 cover stock. Now remember, with the 900 Global brand, it's on a scale of zero to 100. So 70 would be like on the high end of medium, and it's the third or fourth strongest cover that they offer right now. And it comes out of box at a 4,000 grit finish. And then the core is, two, the RG is 2.54, a max differential of 048, and an intermediate differential of 012 in 15 pounds. And then with the layout, I went with a little bit different of a layout that I normally do on the asymmetricals. And I did that for a reason. I went 30 by four by 60. So it puts the pin a little bit lower, kicks the mass bias a little bit out to the right. I wanted a ball that's gonna respond a little bit sooner to the friction and be a little bit smoother overall. Plus it was a recommendation, a layout recommendation from my coach, Bill Hall. If you guys like this Honey Badger intensity on the lanes and you want to order one for yourself, there's gonna be a link in the description where you can order one. It is the absolute best way to help support the channel. Bowler's Mart is what keeps this channel going. So if you wanna order this bowling ball or anything bowling related, there's going to be a link in the description for you to order your very own Honey Badger Intensity or literally anything. I also have a link in the description to my Patreon where I invite each and every one of you to come out and check it out. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have this Honey Badger Intensity or any Honey Badger and what you're thinking about it. I'm gonna take you guys out on the lanes now so that we can see this Honey Badger Intensity in action. Okay, so five shots in, the first thing I'm noticing is that this ball offers a whole lot of control in the back part of the lane. It's, even though it's a higher RG, kind of a medium-ish differential, it doesn't wanna jump off the spot. Now, I don't know if that has to do with the solid cover, but it is like a medium-ish type of cover or the layout that I put on the ball. This ball reminds me of like a little bit stronger version of like an IQ Tour. And I haven't thrown an IQ Tour in a couple years, but that's what it reminds me of. This ball, and I don't use this word a lot on this channel, but this ball seems to scream benchmark. Because for me, the IQ Tours were a little bit too weak or a little bit too responsive on the fresh to be a benchmark ball. But this being a little bit bigger of a ball, a little bit smoother of a ball, I think is really gonna scream benchmark. And I can't wait to throw this at my league at South Point where there's so much friction. I can't wait to see how this is gonna handle that friction. Let's get back on the lanes. Okay, so I love the way that this Honey Badger Intensity comes off the end of the pattern, off the friction. I've been moving a little bit left throughout this video and it gets to the friction, it sees it, and it's, it's like a very defined motion where it turns and rolls. And I really like what I see. It kind of reminds me also very similarly to like that power torque that I really like. It's not quite as strong as some of the stronger balls, but amongst the medium, ish category of bowling balls this one seems to be like the high end of that and as i chase it left the cover is strong enough to handle that oil and it, it's it's responsive to the friction but not angular it's i don't even 
I wouldn't even say that it's very continuous either. It just, it does the right thing. It gets into a roll early, creates a little bit of shape, just enough that it doesn't boom and it rolls forward through the pins. And every time I've struck so far, it's been straight back through the pin deck. I really like what I'm seeing so far. I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna continue to chase it left until I start to like flat 10, um, if, if I get there, if I get to flat 10. And then once I start to flat 10, I'll move back right and see what it looks like on a little bit of transition more up the lane. Oh, honey badger intensity, real good. So we're about halfway through this video reviewing this Honey Badger Intensity, and I like it. I mean, the motion on the lanes is great. It's going through the pins great, but what I like the most about it is that this ball is what it is through and through the whole time. Meaning, sometimes when I get into some of the bigger balls, for example, like the reality, it's really, really good when I have to keep it in the oil, keep it in front of me, but as I have to get left and kind of create a little bit of shape, it starts to roll out because of the nature of the ball. And then vice versa, some of the more angular balls, like let's say the Zen, where on the fresh, it's very, very boomy. But once you get into a little bit of burn, it tends to be a little bit smoother, a little bit more continuous. We're halfway through shooting this video and this ball is what it is. It's very smooth, very early, gets into a roll and goes forward through the pins every single time that I've hit the pocket. And I, I think, I, I, I'm not really keeping track, but I think every shot that I've hit the pocket, it has struck. All, or I, I four pin once that was a little high. But what I'm saying is that this ball is what it is. And I really like that about it. Shot. Push. No chance. So the intensity didn't look terrible from that far left, but it definitely didn't look all that great. It is still wanting to get into a roll very early, but because of that, I feel like it's hooking a little bit too early for the part of the lane that I'm trying to play. So once I have to get this far left, I would probably get into something like the Zen, maybe something like a High Road, um, the other Honey Badger, the Revival, I think might be like a really good go-to after this ball because it's a hybrid shiny with the same core, um, or maybe even just another intensity pin up because when you drill pin down, it, it is gonna lower the differential a little bit which will take some of the lane out of play because it's gonna flare a little bit less than what the undrilled numbers were. So now we're gonna move back right a little bit into where I think this ball will really, really shine. get lucky so of all the parts of the lane that i've played so far that last group of shots was absolutely the best part of the lane it's a part of the lane where it really glides through the front it doesn't want to be too early and then when it gets to the end of the pattern and we are i say pattern but it's just a fresh typical house shot well when it gets to the end of the pattern it doesn't want to jump and it doesn't want to bail it's just very continuous and i love what i'm seeing out of this ball 
Now, I think I do want to drill another one and drill it pin up and then maybe do a comparison like pin up versus pin down and see what the differences are because there's a lot of talk right now about how much layout matters, if it matters at all. So let me know in the comments what you think. Does layout matter? How much does it matter? Does it matter more or less than say surface? Um, or does it matter more or less than say the topography of the lanes? Where would you think layout matters? I, I really wanna know. Let's get this conversation going in the comments. So now I'm gonna move about another four or five right and try to play really up the lane and see how this ball handles being right on top of the friction. Oh! Oh, a little slow. Really jumped. Really cannot throw the ball slow here. So when I'm that far right, that much on top of the friction, this ain't gonna be it. It does slow down, yes, but I think it being asymmetrical and it being a relatively strong ball, it, it really doesn't benefit from playing that much on top of the friction. The spot before that is when it looked really, really good. I was standing around 25, sliding around 23-ish, just trying to get the ball around those tracers down lane. That Oh, got lucky. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Got lucky. Still straight. Oh, that's going to get there. Woo! So <laughs> I'm going to start keeping track of what balls I went three for three on in the versatility test. Um, Probably, I'm gonna go back to when I first became a free agent. So every, every video after the, um, every video after the Enzo, I'm gonna go back and check and I'll list them here. Every ball that I've gone three for three with in the versatility, versatility test, because I think that's important. So this one went three for three. Zone one was super lucky. I'm not even gonna pretend. I threw it good, but it was lucky. Zone two, I threw it bad, but struck. And then zone three, I peered one and it went through the pins. So really good sign. Thank you guys for joining me on this review for the 900 Global Intensity. I really like this ball as a benchmark ball, as a game one, keep it in front of you. Um, not directly on top of the friction, but keep it a little bit more in front of me is when I can see myself really, really throwing this ball. And then guys, if you like this intensity or any ball or really anything that you see in the videos, or anything that you would like to order. If you're gonna order it anyway, help support the channel by going through the link in the description. It really helps my channel, really keeps videos like this happening because now that I'm a free agent, I'm paying for almost every single one of these ball reviews. So in the comments when you guys, oh, freaking hot in here. So in the comments when you guys ask me to review this ball, review that ball, I'm trying, it's just, it gets kind of expensive. So one way to help support the channel to keep these videos going is to go through the link in the description. Thank you guys, love you guys so much. Till next time.